Hey, what's going on guys? So last week Arlo released its new camera system at CES, the Arlo Ultra. I did a video about it a couple days ago, kind of giving my initial thoughts and seeing what you guys thought about this. Some of the pros, some of the cons, like it doesn't come with free cloud storage anymore. And checking Amazon, I put in my pre-order for it being released on the 31st of this month. But wait for it. That's right, I got my very own special delivery of the Arlo Ultra. Actually, I'm just kidding. This is available right now at Best Buy. Didn't realize that. So sorry for anyone who I confused. It is being released on the 31st from Amazon, but if you go to Best Buy right now, you can just pick one up. So that's what I did today. Um, in this video, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, taking a look at what everything actually looks like now that I have my hands on it and we're gonna do initial thoughts. So the big deep dive review is going to be a few weeks out, but um, I thought right now we could get a little bit more into it from the last video, and hopefully I can answer some of your eyes' questions. So let's get started. All right, so if you guys are like me, I'm not a huge fan of unboxings, so... Let's, come on, all right. Let's get this thing opened up. I'm just gonna take everything out and let me show you guys what comes inside of it. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box, but I'm assuming you guys are gonna want more of a detailed view. So let's bring it in and get you some details on this thing. Okay, so here's a close-up view of everything. You're gonna get one network cable, one charging cable, and the brick that comes with it. USB on one side and then the new connector on the other. We've got both cameras right here. Here's a close-up of the camera itself, the connector on the bottom. This is the button to release it. Smooth on all sides. We got the same mount on the back, so you can still use your old mounts. And then if we push the button down here, let's hold upside down so we can see the, the catch. There we go. It's got the catch on it to prevent it. in there I've got the other camera here we've got one of the wall mounts for it so it looks like on the back side there's not a whole lot of room back here in the setup video it shows that you can just roll all your extra cable back here but I don't know how much extra cable you can actually fit back there um, there's that one here is the power for the base station here is the tiny little wall mount that comes with it. So here is the new security wall mount that is about half the size of the old one. Uh, we've got the two batteries. These batteries are different from the Pro 2s, so they are not interchangeable. You will have to get new batteries if you want some extra ones. We got a couple bags of mounts and screws with each of the mounts. We got the little book that comes with it and a little decal sticker. And then we've got the, whoa, let's back up, the base station. So this base station is actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. If we look on the back here, you just have the LAN port, power, reset. And then, let's see here, if we, I'm gonna cover up all my numbers. If we look on the bottom, there is the micro SD card slot. So there it is down there. Uh, nothing on the other side, but we have the slot there some vent holes in the bottom, but that's it, that's the base station. So we'll take a look at that, but let's get everything set up and connected and start testing it out. Okay, so I have everything set up now. We've updated all the firmwares. I've been playing around with this thing for the last hour. It's been slightly frustrating, and I think that has to do with, for one, the product just came out. So I will cut it some slack and hope that there are some firmware updates that are gonna fix some of the problems that I've been seeing so far. Number one thing is that the cameras keep disconnecting. So uh, let's bring up the app here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is the app loaded up with both of the cameras. Uh, let's turn, I think that this one's the back door one. See, and here's one of the problems right here is that the camera says it's live. I just slightly moved it around and now it's stalled on the phone. So 
um, obviously not a live view or it's just having connection. So, okay, so now it's just trying to connect. So this is the issue I've been having so far. These cameras keep losing connection. Um, I've got the other one back behind me. Uh, oh, right here, this is, that's the one that is plugged in right now because I wanted to see some of the other features. Uh, let's see if that one works. So we're, let's click connect on that guy. That one looks like it is connecting, plugged in. So slight delay on this one. Uh, I've noticed that it has about a three second delay. So that is that camera and um, that is the one that is also plugged in. So a couple things that I wanted to bring up and let's go to activity zones. So one thing that I noticed is that you can set up activity zones when the cameras are not plugged in. Um, let's, let me just show you, let's get out of here. Let's go to the, um, is the other camera gonna work? Okay, the other camera I think is online, back door, that's the only one is not plugged in right now. If I go to activity zones, let's see if we can get a live feed. There's a live feed. Oh, here we go, <laughs> plus. All right, so we can set up our activity zones. Say I want this to be an activity zone. Whoa, uh, up here, wow, this thing, okay. Well, anyway, that's how you set up the activity zones. And this is for a camera that is not plugged in. So you can set up activity zones for cameras that are not plugged in. One thing though is that I don't know if these have a look back. Uh, I guess I will test that in the in-depth review to find out. Um, I can also leave a comment below. So I will, when I do find out, I'll put a, a comment below letting you guys know if there's look back. I looked online, I couldn't find anything that specified yes or no for sure on that thing. If we go, okay, we're gonna go to the base station. So here's the base station. We've got my two devices, front door, back door. I did put an SD card in here. So if we click on storage, um, this is what we have. So I did click format card. So I did wipe the card just now. Um, I went and SD card recording was on automatically and overwrite was on automatically. Uh, 4K was off automatically. So I went and turned 4K on. So we're gonna record all 4K footage and we will go more in depth on what that looks like in the in-depth review and um, settings. So here's all the Arlo smart stuff where, and where you would set it up. I have not set any of this up yet and obviously we'll do that in the more in-depth review. So if we go back to devices here, yeah, this one's still offline. Why is this one still offline? So this camera's still offline. Like I said, I've been having problems keeping these guys connected. They are right next to the base station. Base station is back here, um, but as somebody who works in IT and has to deal with electronics all the time, I am going to give the cameras the benefit of the doubt and hope that whatever updates were run, all of the firmware that I just updated, that those are gonna clear themselves up tonight over the next few days. And maybe there's gonna be more firmware pushes to help improve these cameras as a whole. When I first loaded these up, I did notice that the cameras seemed to load a bit quicker than they did with the old app. But with all the issues and all the disconnects that I've been having, I'm not gonna say for a fact that these are gonna be much faster than the Arlo Pro 2s, which I was hoping for. I was hoping a new base station 4K, if say I'm not using these in 4K and I just wanna use them in 1080, I was hoping for a lot quicker response time I can't confirm that yet, but we will play around with it a little more and confirm that for you guys. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is picture clarity. So I definitely notice the picture is much clearer, but I'm in a studio full of lights with um, the cameras right in my face, really close to the station. So initial testing, yes, it is better. I mean, it's 4K, it should be much better but we're gonna play around with it some more. We're gonna get these mounted outside probably tomorrow, even though it's raining. And uh, we'll get you guys a lot of demos. We'll get you, we'll get you some good B-roll on that in-depth review. Lots of examples showing you guys what this thing is capable of. What I would like for you guys to do is leave a comment below with any questions that you have, anything that you want to see in this in-depth video. 
so I can make sure I get your questions answered and get it in that video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys getting to see a little bit of hands-on experience with an actual camera instead of just the CES footage that I've been seeing out there. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.